So parents, this is the message to you. Um, here's something that God in our personal life anyways has really been saying to us. Um, your children are watching you and they are learning how to react or respond to life situations based on how you react and respond. Now, don't mishear me. You are not responsible for your adult prodigal child who has ventured off because of some past mistakes you made when they were a child. That is not what I'm saying. But they are watching how we handle things like our emotions, um, how we handle anger because everyone feels anger, how we handle disappointments because everyone handles or everyone has disappointments, how we handle things like that. They are watching us. And my husband said to me, and he says it often, um, I'm not quite sure where he heard this, but he says um, that someone said they may, speaking of children or people in general, your spouse, your coworkers, whoever, the people that come into your business, they may not remember what you said, but they will remember how you made them feel. They may not remember what you said, but they will remember how you made them feel. And it is our duty as parents and as wives and as if you're a husband or just a citizen, whoever you are, it is our duty to love one another and to speak with kindness and to have a spirit of gentleness and to be like Jesus was. I mean, guys, he even asked for forgiveness for those who were currently killing him when he was on the cross. Imagine the amount of true humility that took. May we not operate in pride or false humility. Lord Jesus, please, please God help us be more like you. We need you, Lord. We need you, Holy Spirit, in every second of every day. Help us to not just talk the talk. It's so easy to do that, but help us walk the walk, God. And help us remember along the way as we stumble and fall, because we will, that there's no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Some translations say for those who walk according to the flesh and not the spirit. God, help us walk by the Spirit. Help us choose the fruits of the Spirit and not the fruits of the flesh. God, I pray for anyone struggling with any shame, condemnation, or guilt. I pray that it would fall off of them now in the name of Jesus. And that they would receive a fresh revelation of the covenant of grace. Thank you, Jesus, that you died and by your blood we are set free. Thank you, Jesus, that our children do not have to taste the sour grapes that we have eaten. That it does not have to... Uh, be bitter to their teeth, God. I pray, Lord, that you would help us be a sweet aroma, not only to you, but also to our children, to our spouses, to all that we come around, come across, Lord God, everyone that we come in contact with during the day. May we have the hope, Jesus, that you provide. May we openly express that. May that be made manifest, be made exposed in our lives. May we, um, God, may we be noticeably different than this world. May we have an answer when they ask where the hope comes from. And may, may we not have the same just, you know, attitudes that they do, being shaken and riddled with anxiety or depression. And we struggle from time to time and that's okay, but may, may it not control us. May we control it because you control us. We control it by you, Jesus. And we thank you that you help us to truly have peace beyond understanding and joy in all circumstances. God, I pray for those of us, and I'm including myself and my husband right now. We've been going through a tough season, but God, you are so good. May you help those of us who are struggling right now to operate in that peace and joy, God. May you help us to remember the hope that we really do have and how good we really do have it. And God, we just pray for those in war right now, all in the Middle East. We pray for Israel specifically, but we pray for Gaza. We pray for all of the Middle East, God. We pray that your will be done, your kingdom come. God, we pray that they would recognize you, you, Yeshua, the Messiah, is that they would recognize you so that you would hear, so that you would hear them, God, from heaven and you would restore their land, Lord Jesus. We thank you that they are a people called by your name and that we are a people called by your name. God, I pray that you would help us walk the walk and talk the talk. We love you, Lord. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your justice. It's all in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Oh, and please fill the one afresh that is watching this. Fill them afresh with your spirit, God. The spirit of the living God. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Please like, subscribe, and share. And if you feel led to donate to this ministry, 
um, I will link in the description in the comment section just some ideas of what this ministry is doing right now. Um, today, me and my children, uh, we got a $50 tithe. So we are going to be spending that on um, a couple umbrellas and we're hoping we'll be able to buy a blanket too. And we have some homeless friends that we're hoping we can still find and we're going to be dropping it off to them. So just to let you know what it we would be going towards would be things like that. Um, so God bless you and thank you for watching. Know that Jesus loves you this day.